Coming up on Lakefront News, stay tuned, learn how to get discounted tickets to the Spurs game. Plus, how to honor your past pets, all that and more coming up on Lakefront News. Thank you for joining us for Lakefront News. I'm Lillian Manzano. And I'm Leilani Barajas. This Halloween, forget the tricks and give a real treat. Help our local licensed vampires by donating blood with the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center. Taking place here on Our Lady of the Lake University campus, on Tuesday, October 22nd, from 10 a.m. to 2.40 p.m., the mobile bus will be here. Type O blood, which is commonly used for emergencies, is in desperate need. Help us stop any spooky blood shortages. Snacks and drinks will be provided for all donors, and donors can get points that equal a value of a $50 gift card. Here's how an OLA student felt about this community outreach. I think it's pretty nice, you know, it lets the students in the community get back to people that are in need of blood. And it's also like a high demand right now, especially because there's a lot of sick people. Online through the South Texas Blood and Tissue website, but walk-ins are also available. And please remember to stay hydrated and eat before your donation. You know I actually gave blood once? Did you really? Yeah, I almost passed out because I didn't eat before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> my dad had to drive me home. <laughs> you may have heard of Day of the Dead, but what about Animal Day of the Dead? Dia de los Muertos is a Mexican and Latin American holiday celebrated by anyone who likes to honor a loved one who has passed. People honor their loved ones by creating an ofrenda or an altar, showcasing photos and placing items in remembrance of the lost ones. Dia de los Muertos is typically held on November 2nd, but the Animal Day of the Dead is celebrated earlier, on October 27th. Lindy Reinberger celebrates Animal Day of the Dead after the passing of her beloved family pet, Sosa. I had my pet who recently passed away, Sosa. She was the best dog ever, so it's nice to have a day that reminds me of her and all the memories I've had with her. If you want to participate, you can set up your own ofrenda at home with pictures of your beloved pet and their favorite treats or toys as you welcome back the souls of your pets to the land of the living for the day. The Sultan Fust Library celebrated Grand Book Week proposes the question as parents' rights groups, politicians, librarians, and publishers are increasingly at odds over which books are suitable for young people to read. Grand Book Week is because, you know, it's, a, it's really a celebration um, of our right, right to see and various voices and, and engage in, in different ideas. Um, we at Olu support any kind of self-expression so that your imaginations fly. Speaking of books, are you a fan of books? Well, now there's a new book out that you can read. There's a new book out made by Dr. Octavio Quitenia, the English professor here at Our Lady of the Lake University, that will be released on October 3rd and will be shown in the main building at Main 311 at 6.30 p.m. The book of Octavio is called The Book of Wounded Sparrow, Sparrow and it talks about the loss of family, culture, and religion. Well, we are extremely excited about The Book of Wounded Sparrows because we have been familiar with his work for a few months now. Everyone from the library is excited to see Quintanilla's new book come out as it talks about his life story and the challenges Mexicans face today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you tune in and see the debate? The vice presidential debate between J.D. Vance and Tim Waltz happened Tuesday, October 1st, and many people feel that this went better than the presidential debate. Students joined in on the watch party for well, the vice presidential debate held on Tuesday, October 1st in the Sultan Fuss Library community room. Students enjoyed a pizza now. and conchas while watching the debate and discussing what the candidates' running mates said. The following, following the presidential debate that was held September 10th at the same location. It was way more civic <laughs> and more calm than the presidential debate. Mm -hmm. uh, the two candidates, they had clear plans and then they get sidetracked. It was like a, like one mic meeting. Students were glad that this debate was a lot more civil and it gives them more hope for the election in November. Do you know anyone interested in our lovely campus? Well, now is a chance to get in the know with our upcoming Discover Olu Day. Our Lady of the Lake University is hosting its upcoming visitation event, Olu Discover Day. This event is designed for aspiring students, offering them an opportunity to experience the Saints community. Come along for an exciting campus tour, meet our enthusiastic staff, explore diverse programs, and discover more than 40 student organizations and see firsthand why Olu is the perfect choice for our future students. I'm really looking forward to seeing all the different parts of the campus and getting a feel for the environment. 
I've heard really great things about Olu's community and I can't wait to see it for myself. This event will take place on October 12th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Secure your spot for Discover Day by RSVPing on the Olu website events page. Let's show others what a great day it is to be a saint. Are you a Spurs fan? Well, you're in luck. As an Our Lady of the Lake student, you can get discounted tickets to see the San Antonio Spurs take on the Houston Rockets October 28th. Tickets must be purchased online and can range from $25 and go up to $150. And these are, not, or these are decent seats, not in the nosebleeds. All seats will be in the first and second sections of the Frost Bank Center. The Olu and Olu will be representing at the game. Um, definitely collaboration um, with dance, cheer, and drumline. Uh, we've been working, we've been starting practices, working endlessly um, to see what, what things we can incorporate this year. Um, I know this year our coach, he definitely wants to try out new things like different lifts and like some people doing like different like tumbling tricks and flips, but I don't want to give out too much. Definitely should, should go to the game to watch it. The game takes place at the Frost Bank Center. Parking will cost $15 once you enter the stadium. Hey Saints, get ready to unleash your inner child. Save the date on October 10th. The Kinesiology Department at Our Lady of the Lake University is hosting a field day. The adult field day extravaganza is open to staff and students um, and it will be held at Olu San and Volleyball dance, Pit, the outside basketball line. courts uh, behind the working, soccer field. Organizers say the purpose of this event is to release some stress after midterms. For midterms, it gets me really in the mood and who doesn't love just expending a little energy in a more friendly competition? It helps take the mind off of midterms, it gets me really in the mood and Again, the event is held on October 10th from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And there will be free snacks. Boo! Tis the season to be naughty. Saints, get your spook on. Spooky season is near. It's here. So grab your costumes and get ready for Lake Oween and Boo Bash here at Olu. October 31st from 6 to 8 p.m. Stop by and get a sweet treat from your alumni at their tent at the Centennial Courtyard and the Library Circle. While you can be a kid again, trick-or-treating at the student dorms on campus, don't forget to bring a bag for goods. The event is open to the public. You may have remembered a Columbus Day holiday, October 14th, but that is now in the past for San Antonio. This year is recognizing Indige Indigenous People Day. That's right. This is the first year after the vote by San Antonio City Council on September 28, 2023, that the San Antonio City Council voted to change the name of Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. This change highlights the importance of honoring the first inhabitants of America. We asked a student here at Our Lady of the Lake how they feel about celebrating the first Indigenous Peoples Day. I think that is something that they share to everyone in the world because um, it's something important to know that the Columbus changed the name in, on the indigenous people. Some faculty we spoke with find change to be in the move in the right direction, but at the same time, it can be confusing. Let us know what you think. Thank you for tuning in to Lakefront News. Visit us online at lakefront.olu.com. I'm Lillian Manzano. And I'm Leilani Barajas, signing off.